Welcome back. The Ontario government is sending students back to basics in the classroom. Education Minister Stephen Lecce announced a sweeping new series of measures today to improve the math and literacy skills of Ontario students. Al Sweeney has the details. The new push by the Ontario government is based on the old idea of the basics, reading, writing and arithmetic. Every day, parents tell us they want their children's school to focus on the fundamentals, improving reading, writing and math. The government says better math and literacy skills for students will mean better jobs and better futures. So it's announcing more than $180 million to boost those basics. For math, the plan includes more than 300 new math teachers, a math action team sent to underperforming schools, more math coaches in classrooms, and enhancing the skills of math teachers through courses. The literacy plan includes almost 700 new teachers, early reading screening from second year of kindergarten to grade two, an overhauled curriculum this September to help students master basic literacy at an early age, and more specialist teachers. In all, the province will be hiring almost 1,000 specialized math and literacy teachers. We know many young children have faced regression over the past years. Lecce says part of the plan is an attempt to overcome the COVID setback for students. Seeing the decline in reading, writing and math skills and today's plan is a clear signal that we're not going to sit idle. But critics say the $180 million plan amounts to 50 cents per student in Ontario and isn't going to make up for three years of disrupted learning during COVID. We have these massive challenges that our kids are experiencing, you know, mental health, uh, the, the difficulty catching up in education after three years of disruptions. And what the government is investing today is a drop in the bucket. $180 million sounds really big because you and I are never going to see $180 million ourselves, right? But $180 million divided by 4,800 schools, divided by 2 million students, truly is not enough money um, to really do what we need to do. It's very unusual for the government to make this kind of major announcement on a Sunday. We're told the government is planning another round of this education announcement this week, with legislation being introduced at Queen's Park. Back to you, Adam. 